Howard Logan Woven Wire Mesh installation video on slide door assembly. First begin by assembling the door package. The panel system should already be installed with line posts on both sides of the door panel opening and one at the end of the track when possible. Next, bolt the lock receiver to the slide jam using two quarter inch by half inch carriage bolts. Then secure with two lock washers and two quarter inch hex nuts. Bolt the slide jam with the lock receiver to the line post using two quarter inch by one and a quarter inch carriage bolts and quarter inch hex nuts. Make sure to use the holes in the line post closest to the outside of the cage as shown. If your door cannot be inserted into the track from the non-locking or tail end of the track, save this step for after the track is hung. The track adapter is used to hold the overhead track that the slide door uses to open and close the door. There are 11 different track adapter configurations. The adapter you need is determined by the height of the post and the height of your door. Select the post height. In our case, we will have a seven foot line post and a seven foot high door. So the bracket we will use for this demonstration is the first one on the left in the top row. Assemble the adapter bracket to all three line posts, one on each side of the open door and the third one at the end of the track. For our example, bolt the adapter plate to the line post using two quarter inch by three quarter inch hex head bolts, two quarter inch flat washers, two quarter inch lock washers, and two quarter inch hex head bolts. Next, bolt the track bracket to the adapter plate through the track clamp using a 5 16 inch by 1 inch carriage bolt and secure with a 5 16 hex nut. Keep in mind, if a transom is being used, it must be installed first before adding the adapter brackets to the line post. Because our door is eight foot wide, it requires bolting two four foot wide panels together using the kernel clamps. Note, if you're using a five foot door or less, you can skip this step and move to the assembly of the trolleys. Begin by sanding the wire panels vertically together and bolt two kernel clamps towards the top, one on each side of the panel as shown. Insert two quarter inch by one and a quarter inch carriage bolts into the secured side of the cage. Then secure with two quarter inch flanged hex nuts. Repeat this process in the middle of the panels here and then towards the bottom here. Three sets of kernel clamps are provided for seven foot and eight foot doors and four sets are provided for 10 foot doors. Space evenly along the door. Next, bolt the R splice channel along the top of the doors across both halves using two quarter inch by one and a quarter inch carriage bolts. One bolt on each panel and then secure with a quarter inch flat washer and a quarter inch hex nut. Then attach a slotted angle, the entire width of the door to the bottom. Bolt using four quarter inch by one and a quarter inch carriage bolts and secure with four quarter inch hex nuts. On all doors, bolt a framing mortise bar to the non-latching end of the door. Insert at least four quarter inch ATDs or anti-telescoping devices inside the C-channel of the framing mortise bar. Then bolt the bar to the door with three quarter inch by one and three quarter inch hex head bolts and secure with quarter inch hex nuts. The final step in the door panel assembly is to insert and bolt the four wheel trolley to the outer hole at both ends of the door. If the door is greater than five feet, install one four wheel trolley on the left panel and secure with a half inch hex nut. Do the same thing on the right panel. The next step is to install the track. Slide the track into the brackets that were mounted to the three line posts. Note, if the door is wider than eight feet, you will need two tracks. For doors six foot or less, you will only need one track. Then insert the slide door assembly with the trolleys into the track 
at the opposite end that it will lock at. Once the slide door is in place, install the stopper just inside the end of the track to keep the door from sliding out the end of the track. It goes on the same end of the track that the door went in on. The stopper consists of a half inch by one and a quarter inch carriage bolt, half inch flat washer, and a half inch hex nut. The final step in the slide door assembly is to assemble the door guide at the bottom of the door. Bolt two one and a half inch angle brackets to the slide door guide using a 5 16 inch by one inch carriage bolt and secure with a 5 16 inch flanged hex nut. Do this for both angle brackets. Make sure the slide door is in the closed and latched position. Place the slide door guide under the door. The back part of the door should rest at least one inch inside the channel in the closed position. Once the door is positioned correctly into the door guide, mark the anchor hole locations of the two angle brackets and secure the guide to the finished floor with quarter inch anchors. This concludes the Ford Logan Woven Wire Mesh installation video on slide door assembly. If you have any questions, please contact us at 812-523-3044. Thank you.